Get back board ship. Ascent is go. Leaving Atmel. All clear. Not much more to really provoke new dialogue options yet. Cora wanted to check. Okay, I'll go check. We'll talk to Cora then. EB is not here. Uh, hello. A private episode of Star Trek The Next Generation. Wow, that is real loading issues. Fusionies like cancer. Left untreated, it spreads. Keep exiling people, and you'll just run out of people. Cut out malignant cells to give the healthy ones a chance. Nothing's that simple, Doc, and you know it. There! Finally hair review. We can click results on this one. Yay! Got a bunch of XP, some loot boxes, and mission funds. This one will expire soon. Magnesium. Credits. Efficient funds or recruit another team. Okay. Effectiveness. Success. Go with you. Success. And both teams in. Pathfinder, you have new email. Okay, I'll go. Wait a minute. Is over here. Okay. Go chat with Cor. Report from the Nexus. Population's growing as people wake up. Lots of hopefuls waiting for a home. Radley will have all the help he can take. They'll be starting <clears throat> crops. That's good to hear. Can't tell if they have enough water or too much. I grew up on a little cargo freighter. Only saw gardens and vids. But I always loved them. I daydreamed about planting a big rose garden when we got here and still imagine it sometimes. Roses in Helios. That's not a bad idea. It'd be good to bring something beautiful across galaxies. Everyone in the initiative has their something beautiful. I didn't for a while. After I left the Asari commandos, well, I didn't leave. My mentor, Nasira, said I should go. Why? The initiative would suit you better, was all she said. Being a hunter suited me fine, but she insisted. What I'll say for the roses and Helios thing is, being able to grow roses and Helios is basically of saying that we made it. We have enough resources we can grow things that don't need to be food crops. It 
sounds like she cared more about what you needed than about what you wanted. I didn't need to be rejected. Still, that's familiar. When your biotics are honed into hunter's grade weapons, people can be weird about it. The initiative seemed better. Just didn't see how I'd fit into their brave new galaxy. I never fit anywhere before. Then I met some jerk named Ryder. Talked about traveling to Andromeda like he was teaching you how to see it. He gave you a dream to work toward. He was good at that. Who doesn't want to belong? Especially somewhere like the Initiative. So I gave the Initiative my all. Kept thinking of the niche I wanted. My rose garden. I thought I knew what I was going to be. This is about not taking over as Pathfinder? Didn't think it would still sting. Nasira, your father, even my parents. They leave, I'm left without answers. Nowhere to stand. I think this is the best dialogue option for the circumstances. I get that. We've all had a lot of disappointments lately. You're do doing well. For having no training, being your second isn't so bad. And if that remnant tech pays off, maybe someday I'll have roses too. Eye movements and eyebrow movements are looking a bit better. Um... Oh, I checked with Drac. <clears throat> Ryder, you meet Spender yet? Colonial Affairs, the ass in Assistant Director. <laughs> got, no, got no idea why Addison keeps him around. Spender lied to the Krogan during the uprising, and he's headed out for cash ever since. He's up to something. I just can't prove it. We should pay him a visit on the Nexus. What's it like to have Kesh as a granddaughter? Mm. Kesh is my Rushan, child of my blood. Raised her myself. Damn proud of her, too. She did good, even with me for a granddad. I like the self depreciation. Definitely blunt. She had to take after me in some ways, I guess. Did Lexi brief you on Sam and squad connectivity yet? Yeah. You want to hook that thing up to my comm, sure, but that's where it stops. Putting an AI in your head, giving it access to everything like that, it's begging for trouble. Hmm. Sam is part of what makes someone a Pathfinder. You're just going to have to deal with that. So long as it's not in my head and it ain't messing with my body. Yeah, that's fair. I'd like to know more about you. Fire away. How did you and Vetra meet? Huh, that's right. Your father brought you into the project pretty late, didn't he? Must have been a pretty steep learning curve since they... More like a learning up. cliff. You could say that. You make do with what you get. Anyway, I met Vetra back when we were building the Nexus. She swiped supplies I was trying to get for cash right under my nose. <laughs> I tried to intimidate her into turning them over to me, and let me tell you, that Turian takes shit from no one. She really has a way of getting things done. She sure does. But here's the best part. She waited until I saw her again in Cash's office, no less, to tell me she'd been working for Cash all along. <laughs> They're both still <laughs> laughing at me over that. Tell me more about the Krogan colony. My clan's there. We also got some scouts looking for any unclaimed territory to grab up. Got a decent setup going. Self-sustainable. The works. Even some... Farm. Nice. Farming? Krogan farm? Food's food. Just because we can eat anything doesn't mean we gotta settle for scraps. That's fair. That's... I'm, pretty, I'm pretty fond of Corkro roots myself. Takes a while to chew through Makes those. sense. I mean, that's the reason why I came out here. We don't have to settle for scraps out here. So, about all this combat experience you have, I'd love some details. Ha! The list will be shorter if you ask me what experience I don't have. I've been doing this for a long time now. Centuries. Shit. Well over a thousand years. Don't even know how I'm still alive, to be honest. Skill? You need luck to be a merc. Skill, sure, but a whole lot of luck. <laughs> and a really hard head. Uh, we'll chat about the next uprising and more stories later. We can talk more later. 
Sure. Hey, one last thing. Yeah? Is everyone a kid to you? Ha, <laughs> when you get to be my age, yeah, pretty much. I feel like probably the best way to take it, to ask about it. Talk to Spender on the Nexus, next time I'm back to the Nexus. Feeling okay? How's everyone doing? How do you think the crew is holding up? I'm happy to share what I can without violating patient confidentiality. Naturally. Anyone in particular? I sort them in their files and my brain by species. Mm. Thanks. Thanks for the insight. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. I just want to look at um. UP status control. Ah. So I can unlock more pods from here as well without having to go back. Ooh. I'll click my rewards from here. Copper, copper, and lithium. No, ESO. Bummer. <clears throat> Hmm, thought your activity light was on. Yeah. It's big, flashy, and glowing, which we, you think would be say there's a call waiting. Alright. Oh, where's PB? Okay, let's go talk to PB. She's changed the location, that probably means that she... has new dialogue options. So, Vetra, I hear this Joker beat you with poker, too. Where'd you hear that? A little Brody told her. A gloating Brody. It was a close game. <laughs> Did give me a better game than Drac. Not saying much. Watch it. Forget him. Let's get a game going with everyone else to hone our skills and take him out. Let's do it. Hey, Costa, want in on this? No thanks. I need my creds. And my clothes. And both my kidneys. <laughs> <laughs> What's shaken? Ah, uh, no new dialogue. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. There we go. There's Liam. Where? There's Vetra. Need something? Need something done? Ah, uh, no new dialogue. Okay. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. I do appreciate the game alerts you when there's new dialogue with your party members. Climbing animation seems weird. It's not how I think of climbing a ladder. I think I would think of climbing a ladder and the physical motions you make. I think climbing hand over hand. Oh, sorry about that. I usually have the volume of the game so low so I don't overshadow my dialogue. Alright, game volume is up a bit on the stream. Most of the dialogue in this portion is pretty quiet too. Just some light scatter from ice in the scourge. I'll recalibrate the sensors for bloody nuisance cloud. 
bloody nuisance cloud. Oh, let's chat with Carlos if there's anything else I want to talk about. Oh, the ship manual's useful. That leg of my workbench needed propping up. If you bothered reading it, you'd know that the Tempest is an orchestra of new tech. You can't just meddle with... I got this ship launch ready <laughs> in record time, Camo. I know my stuff. And you don't have a shred of respect for other people's. Callo. Oh, Ryder. Sorry you had to hear that. So basically, we have Scotty and the designer of the Enterprise working on the ship at the same time. So, new system. Anomaly detected. New anomaly? Oh, that's right. We have the kid orbital. We have the kid orbital caches. Right about that. Try anyway. The reason the volume is where it is is because I'm trying just to make sure that my audio is over the game's audio successfully. Our Turian friend on EOS has good instincts. Let's check it out. Bunch of crash. Anomaly on sensors. And the other one must be over here. Probe away. I found something. Yep. the cat supply drop possible cat supplies just like dark it suggested Not more viability points nice Let's hit the on system next. Do they know we're here? They've got us pinned against the scourge. They are scanning us. That'd be, we'll that'd be a yes. Back. Where is the one who activated the remnant? The DNA signature is there. Answer me. Be snarky or play it cool. Let's be let's play it cool. I'm Ryder, captain of the ship and Pathfinder with the initiative. You come with me. They've lost navigation. We're being steered into their ship. Just tell me what you want. I won't explain what you can't understand. Try me, Ryder. I have almost regained control of the ship. I need a few more seconds. I actually know a lot about the Remnant. We should compare notes. Enough! Your defiance is naive and reckless. This day marks the beginning of your greatness. Sam? I have plotted a potential course through Great. the Great! Do it! Toodles! 
<laughs> Report. Enemy destroyed. Damage to aft sensors. Scourge got it. Yes. Get us out of here. That's what we're doing. It will be tight. Hello. Yes. Oh, that was close. Nice work, kid. Yeah, but who the hell was that guy? Ryder, we've got trouble down here. You need to find us a port now. Great. Where'd we end up, anyway? Sensors are damaged, but I think we're at the vault's coordinates. You think? Kill, give it what you can. We're setting down. Looks like the planet is something volcanic. A little volcan a lot volcanic. Contacted. We have to land. Oh. Open a calm. Tove Jagalesto. Tove Jagalesto. We're visitors from another galaxy. Our intentions are peaceful. Av Nalesetto. They've sent us a nap point. Set us down. Okay. I don't want to get in the fight again. But like since I really don't know what kind of guns we have on this thing. Yes. <laughs> Look at that. It's, it's beautiful. We're also already got somebody living here, but you know, hey. They could still give us some information. And we provide assistance. We need in that vault. Please, you're not really going out there on. Of your course, own. I'm not. We can't afford a repeat of last time. I'm the Pathfinder. First contact is on me. Most important thing ever. <laughs> no pressure. Eh. Well, they're not cats, so this got us going on this, right? If this goes badly, if I get eaten alive, even if it's hilarious, please destroy the vids. <laughs> okay, that works. <clears throat> Not armed. Need me to take my shoes off? Wow, a homeland security joke. They have no goals. Weapon scan, I presume. Hey, it's regret to meet my party member. I'm Paran Shai, governor of Aya. We are the Angola. You speak English, which means. Hello. I'm a Pathfinder with the Initiative. Yes, you crossed dark space. I've heard of your journey. Joel, I have this in hand. Ephra saw the ship come in and sent me to find out what's going on. She's, she's a human from another galaxy. A Pathfinder. You speak English. Mm. Aya is hidden, protected. What do you want? <sighs> We didn't know what we'd find here, to be honest. But I'm open to sharing what we know, if you are. <laughs> honest? Honesty would be a good start. That's what I'm shooting for. I'll inform Ephra. He'll be waiting for you in his office at the Resistance headquarters. I'll meet you there. I will accompany you through our city. Your crew will stay on your ship. So apparently I've discovered an insurgency against the cat. Interesting. <laughs> 